When you are a professional athlete, you are going to have hangers on. You're going to have people in your life that use your fame, exploit your notoriety, and capitalize on it or try to capitalize on it for their own personal gain. Now, sometimes it can be a good thing, but in most cases, it's negative. Rich Paul capitalized on a chance meeting with LeBron James back in 2002, over a year before LeBron was drafted into the NBA. They became friends. LeBron becomes an international superstar a year later. Rich Paul capitalizes on it, starts his own sports agency, becomes a millionaire. Now, on the flip side of that coin, you have hangers on that other than the company they provide the star athlete, they're essentially useless. They serve no purpose to the rest of us. We don't care about them. They like to pretend that the world cares. They like to make themselves into a big deal. They become professionals in attention-seeking behavior. But a couple of weeks ago, I told you guys Patrick Mahomes had a major problem. I want to correct myself here because it turns out I was wrong. Patrick Mahomes doesn't have a major problem. He has two major problems. We talked about the first problem right before Christmas, his dumbass brother, Jackson Mahomes. Now, we're going to get to him again in just a second, but we're going to start with Patrick Mahomes' second issue, his girlfriend or fiance or baby mama, however the hell you want to describe her. She is another person on social media with a blue check mark for no other reason than being associated with someone who actually earned their fame. Her name is Brittany Matthews. When I was doing my research, the term business person showed up under her name when I Googled her. I tried to find a business Brittany Matthews started or was even associated with. I tried to find some type of accomplishment, something that she has achieved in her 26 years on the planet. The only thing I could find that Brittany Matthews accomplished was that she had a baby with Patrick Mahomes. Now, I'm not denigrating motherhood here. Being a mother is the hardest and most difficult job in the world. But there are millions of mothers in this country without a blue check mark on Twitter and Instagram. The only reason Brittany Matthews is famous, and I use that term loosely, is because of her relationship with Patrick Mahomes. This dude has the NFL world in the palm of his hands. He has the respect of fans across the country. But his damn family is doing everything in their power to destroy the career of Patrick Mahomes, at least in terms of public relations. His family is quickly becoming the most hated family in the NFL. Yesterday, after the Chiefs lose to the Bengals, and look, this was a big loss. It could have an impact on who becomes the number one seed in the AFC. The number one seed has never been more important. Not only for home field advantage, the number one seed now is the only team in the NFL that gets a buy in the playoffs. Now, after the Chiefs lost in Cincinnati yesterday, Brittany Matthews went on Twitter and unleashed a tirade on NFL officials. We basically got screwed. That's all. Um, we? Who the hell is we? I watched that game yesterday. Not one time did I see Brittany Matthews on the field. I didn't see her catch one pass. Didn't see her make one tackle. Hell, I didn't even see her on the sidelines with pom-poms in her hands. She's not even a cheerleader, so I'm not sure what she means by we. Another tweet, the rest do not want us to win. Here we are again using plural pronouns. There is no us. Now, you can make an argument the Chiefs got screwed by the officials, but Brittany Matthews did not. I have complained all season about the officiating in the NFL and how they're impacting the outcome of games. Now, did officials yesterday make some questionable calls against the Chiefs? Yeah, they did. Was it the reason they lost? No. Think about this from a logic perspective. And I know that's difficult for Brittany Matthews to do. Think logically. But just think about this. Patrick Mahomes is going to be the face of the NFL for the next 20, maybe even 25 years. He is the league's cash cow, one of, if not the most popular player. The NFL will make billions of dollars off Patrick Mahomes. It benefits them for the Chiefs to make another Super Bowl run. Now, with that being the case, why would they actively cheat him to make him lose? It doesn't make any sense. It'd be like the NBA in the 90s trying to screw over Michael Jordan. And here's another thing. 
You know how many times I saw Brittany Breeze, Drew Breeze's wife, whine and complain about NFL officials on social media? You know how many times I've seen Giselle Boonjin complain about the outcome of a game? Zero. None. There is a certain decorum expected if you're going to be the wife of an NFL quarterback. You're not expected to complain about the officiating. You are not expected to be on the sidelines pre-game taking pictures for your Instagram followers who don't care about you or trying to entertain fans in the stadium with your ridiculous antics. Not one person bought a ticket to that game yesterday to see Brittany Matthews or Jackson Mahomes. And speaking of dumbass younger brothers, let's go ahead and get into Jackson Mahomes, who once again made a complete fool of himself yesterday. This kid, you guys remember the dude in high school who thought he was a big deal, who thought he was the best looking, thought he was talented, thought people really cared about him? That is Jackson Mahomes. This kid actually thinks he's a star. They're doing studies constantly now on the impact of social media. I have the perfect test subject for the next study, Jackson Mahomes. This is the result of your child spending too much time on social media. You want your kid to grow up to be a loser one day? Let him stay on Facebook and Instagram 16 hours a day. He too could be the next Jackson Mahomes. Once again, before the game yesterday, Jackson Mahomes decided to grace us with his excellent dance moves. Watch for yourself. Back in the sixth grade, I got the bad grades. I was in love with my tutor. See, musically lose, you trapping me. Most of you rappers be actors, man. Could this dude be more feminine? He is doing his best to become a professional agitator. And what is with the Chicago Bulls t-shirt from 1997? Jackson Mahomes... You weren't even alive during the Bulls dynasty. This has been a season-long problem for Patrick Mahomes, his family causing off-the-field issues. They're not the ones who have to answer questions about it. Patrick Mahomes does. He is guilty by association. I don't know if he has tried in the past to keep his fiancé and his brother in check. If he has, clearly it is not working. Both his fiancé and brother are trying to be the star of the show when neither one possesses the talent to be an extra. This is becoming a trend. Every week, some type of stupidity from someone in Patrick Mahomes' camp. I can't think of another NFL player that has to deal with this. I don't see Sierra acting a fool on social media at every Seahawks game. Sierra is an actual star, someone who has actual talent. Her only claim to fame is that having a child with Russell Wilson. Sierra earned her millions of dollars. It's always the people with no chance of becoming famous that caused these types of problems. All right, let me know what you guys think. Is Patrick Mahomes' brother and fiance a problem? Sound off in the comments below. Link to my Patreon page is in the description section. Sign up, become a patron. I'm going to start doing some exclusive things on there once a few more people sign up. Make sure to like and subscribe as well. Click the notification bell to receive all notifications from the channel. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com. KC underscore BTL84 on Twitter. I'll see you guys tomorrow.